Han Jin, Korea's once mighty shipper, has applied for bankruptcy protection in the United States. Now, this comes as the Korean government launched a special task force to deal with a possible impact on the country's maritime sector. For details, we turn to Kim Jong Su. Hanjin Shipping has reportedly filed for bankruptcy protection in the U.S. at a court in Newark, New Jersey. The Wall Street Journal says the application was filed last Friday, just two days after the company applied for protection in Korean courts. The filing will prevent creditors from seizing Hanjin's U.S. assets and block them from launching further legal action, while the company undergoes restructuring in Korea. The report says a U.S. bankruptcy filing was made by Seok Tae-su, Hanjin's inside director and foreign representative. The company currently operates over 60 regular lines worldwide, with a fleet of 140 container or bug vessels. The Wall Street Journal says Hanjin's bankruptcy will be regarded as, quote, the largest container shipping failure in history, dwarfing all previous carrier bankruptcies. Meanwhile, the Korean government set up a special task force on Sunday to cope with potential disruptions in maritime trade and the economy as a whole caused by Hanjin's recent difficulties. According to the Financial Services Commission, Hanjin Shipping currently owes over 64 billion won, or 58 million U.S. dollars, to a combined 457 contracted companies. Hanjin's possible delays in transport and satisfying its financial obligations could create problems for their operations as well. The government task force will also instruct Hanjin Shipping to apply for prohibition of seizure orders in 43 countries to further minimize the risk of creditors taking Hanjin's vessels. It will also deploy teams to Korea's five major ports in Busan, Ulsan, Tongyang, Changwon, and Mokpo to quickly identify and respond to problems arising in the shipping sector. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.